I'm Seija Tuulentie and I'm working as a professor of sociology at the University of Lapland now, but my permanent position is at the Forest Research Institute in Rovaniemi. And I'm doing nature-based tourism studies. And um, in this climatic project we have a demonstration project which is uh, dealing with tourism resorts and their future prospects in Finnish Lapland meaning uh, uh, big resorts like Levi and Ulles in Lapland. So this climate change uh, adaptation has not been very uh, relevant, or tourism industry has not felt it as very, as very relevant issue. But uh, from my point of view, it's uh, important, especially because uh, Finland and especially Lapland is really far away from the big markets and people have to fly here. People are much more environmental aware nowadays, so they they want to know what happens and how, how their uh, traveling affects the environment. And um, that's why tourism industry has to answer uh, many kinds of questions for different uh, people. Uh, snow is extremely important in Finnish tourism and in Lapland tourism especially, so very much of the activities are based on snow and uh, the really critical time is Christmas time. Santa Claus is of course the main attraction but he needs snow around him and if there is no snow then then it's kind of problem. It's that tourism industry has to adapt also by by creating new uh, products and new, new activities and maybe to make Lapland more attractive in summertime too, which has not been the main emphasis until now. Yeah, I think there are these two sides. There is this demand side because people want to know more and they have to be, tourism industry has to be ready to give answers and then there is this side that they it really affects uh, to the actual business and they have to be ready to change their ways of doing things. With, uh, they don't call it adaptation. They have have created kind of artificial snow, and and they are taking people in Christmas time to northwards. And if there is no snow, for example, in Rovanin region, and they are doing quite a lot of that adaptation, but they don't call it actually adaptation. But I think that awareness has has grown quite a lot in in the last two two years, maybe and they are starting starting to have more projects and to, to become really environmental friendly. <laughs>